and we're on. Greetings. It has been way, way too long since I have been doing this. But we are doing this again. And also, uh, my little guy in the corner is no longer here because I'm streaming straight from my PS5 because the OBS for some reason does not like it when I do stuff like this. That or I just have a weak capture card, one of the two. Anyways, here's Nikado Avocado. I'll just stare at him. Anyway. Uh... One of the notes said to have find something, and I decided to see what we will get if we actually did his side quest thing, and apparently it's actually good. So I'm gonna do a sick cannonball. Cannonball. Yes. Indeed. Now. I could flow in there, right? No. Alright. Let's get down here then. Bonk, 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 bonk. So uh, yeah, last time uh, was very very laggy. So I am don't I don't think anybody knew what was happening during the last stream since so it's pretty much a PowerPoint slideshow. But uh, pretty much keepers, Brungle is in fact monster. The sun is not my son, and. Yeah, that's pretty much it. On the third day. Yeah, I also killed a bunch of eggs. Except for these things. Die. But yeah, pretty much giant enemy spider. Keepers, I really like them. They look really cool. And, uh... Yeah, we found the small child. And then the small child was a monster, unfortunately. Alright, up here. Bonk, bonk. Jesus Christ, that's a sound. Okay. Wait, so now I'm up here. I think I meant to flow up here, because I did this on another account to see how to do it. Oh yeah, that is, okay, yeah, that is what I meant to do. Flow up to the pipe. Alright, yeah, okay. This was way easier than what I did. I had to glitch the game. There we go. Boris. Alright. Now I just have to do a couple more cannonballs. Alright, there's one. Animation alley. Is this one not openable? Have a. Oh, yeah, also we met Joy Drew, who's a burning memory, quite literally, actually. He burned and then disappeared and then came back. And we are also his daughter. So, so yeah, interesting lore reveals that were unfortunately unable to be enjoyed due to the fact that, oh, sh due to the fact that uh, the stream was pretty much a PowerPoint presentation. The game runs perfectly fine on the console, but for some reason, every time I was trying to record it, it was not running good. Uh, the video, uh, the game ran fine when I recorded it. It's just that for some reason, it recorded very poorly. Oh yeah, I also left this guy here. He said he didn't have to kill him. Alright, so, over here. Alright, 
Uh-huh. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Slap you. <laughs> I feel like the Audrey should heal after looting bodies since they're made of ink and the ink bodies disappear. I need a vending machine. Maybe he's upset at me because I kept bonking him in the head. There it is. Oh. Bacon soup. I like how bacon soup instantly heals you. Alright, battery acid. Everybody, how's it going? I'm not gonna slap you. I don't think I'll slap you either. I'll just uh, send you to the aether. Go to the back rooms. So, like here, Audrey actually kind of eats them since her health regenerates. But why can't she eat them even when she hits them with a the wrench? Same thing. I. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's looking to run way better if I just stream it from the PS5 itself. But, yeah, I will be doing Bioshock on the OBS, because OBS doesn't make Bioshock a powerful presentation for some reason, I don't know why. It treats it normally. Oh, so I forgot about this wall. We live in the ruins of the past, forever lost in the shadows of those who came before us. Blended souls to make something new, birth from a machine in a world we cannot own. But the ink demon lives in all of us, a voice that calls us to a purpose. We know it's alive, but, it is, but his intoxicating pull is strong. He is calling, always calling. Can you not hear him? Seriously, can you not hear him? Your, your phone going off. It, 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 seriously, answer his calls. Also, Boris. All right. Ow. What do you do when you see a child? You commit genocide. Is that all of them? Oh, there they are. Bye. Wait, wait. I can eat, I can eat the donut. Nice. Also, I think I remember making a discussion in another video, and I want to talk back on that again, because, like, I'm okay with, like, just Audrey just- Oh, come, wait. Can I hide in- Can I hide under here? Does this count? Oh my god, it does. Do not sneak attack me. I swear. If it was actually like a hiding place like right next to the vent, I would have screamed. But uh, yes, I'm gonna talk about this because like Audrey eats a lot of things throughout her adventure, which like video game logic, and I'm gonna assume that like, oh, the food dissolves back into ink and reforms her body, which kind of hence is to the healing bit. 
like it turns into ink when she when she eats it and hence her body. But I mean, where does she put all the things she collects? Because I'm not expecting I'm gonna have to pause to show my inventory. Alright. Wrong one. Alright, here I have 380 coins, 5 keys, 45 batteries, 31 parts, 8 toolkits, and 13 battery cases. I have no clue how I remember what those things were called, but I'm gonna go with it. I have all of those things, but no pockets. Was there another bar there? Oh no, that's the gen bar. I thought it was like an extra thing. But uh, yeah, I have all those things, but where exactly am I putting them? Because, I mean, like, there is the whole video game logic of characters just having infinite pockets. Does Audrey have that, too? Does she just have infinite pockets, or is it, like, an endless void? It's like a Mary Poppins bag. Just... I remember making a joke where, like, she eats everything she finds. Maybe that's it. Maybe it just turns into ink. That she, like, spends, like, time to upgrade my gen pipe. <laughs> or just ink sloshing sounds will work fine. Anyways, watch me roleplay as Nekakato's assistant having to go out to every single McDonald's because God knows he doesn't, buy him hundreds of pounds of food in order for his mukbangs. Alright Nekato, time for your eating a human heart mukbang challenge. Come on. Ironically, this version of Nikado Avocado is way tamer than the real life one. Also, how's the heart crunchy? Mm. Alright. Anyways. Hey, break glass. Yes. I like breaking glass. There's coins. Alright, got that. Right. Systematic and thing. A bend. A, 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 a bar. Yeah. A bar. Alright. See, I got a schematic. Now I can upgrade. Yeah. I think there was an upgrading thing here. Can I leave? Thank you. So you don't really have to sneak, you can just stand up as long as you're not in his peripheral vision. Hello! Alright. Cycle breakers. Really? Honestly, yeah. Six level badge required beyond this point. Level badge. Wait. Wait. Uh, okay. okay. You anyway, know I'm just gonna. Okay. Search. Nothing. And something I missed last time, for some reason, it pushed me back. Okay, break the bell. Break a barrel. Break a barrel. That was a plan. Hello! Remember him? From chapter 4? He's here now. Bonk, 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 bonk. Crouch down. No, bendy again. Pull. And here we have a simp. I think he has an actual facial sh facial structure now. I think in the old, I think in the original ink machine, he just had this blob. Oh, turn on. I'll just have a hit you. 
Okay, not much. Alright, let's go wake up Henry. Run, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Do you think Sammy would still simp for Bendy if he knew what he looked like? Would he simp for Bendy if he knew that he looked way bigger? Like, do you think he'd be still at the same simp level, simp for him a little less, or maybe even more? Um, excuse me. Cutscene, I'm gonna meet my Sir? microphone. Can you help me? You must be real lost to be asking me for help. I'm just looking for answers about the Keepers, Wilson, the Cycle. Anything could help. What's your name? Audrey. What's yours? Honestly, I've almost forgotten. <sighs> My name is Henry. Have you been a prisoner long? The Keepers think you're a threat to their plans. They lock you away. Forever. Still, it's given me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might not be human. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do it? Reset the cycle. Turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his, but even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, it will reset everything. What is it? It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, The End. I can see it in my mind. See if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. If you need me again, you know where to find me. Still confused as to why it screams after Henry. Turn on. Also, where is my pipe upgrade place? I remember seeing one back there with your first keeper. I wanna upgrade my pipe before we continue on, so contraband. We look we got the looking glass. A bendy record. And an axe. Does it still say the uh, bendy the lighter side of hell. Yeah, it still does say that. Nice. Alright, let's look around a bit. Alright, this one. I don't think we've opened this last time. Are you worthy walk, to walk with the angels? Oh, that's Alice. Secretary Luck. I would assume it's this one. Yeah. But no upgrade, uh, hold up. You know what, I'm gonna upgrade before we go. This is FNAF. Hello. Nice to meet you, FNAF. I'm gonna upgrade my pipe before we head out. Hey. Wondered... Is there a pipe upgrade here? Nope. Oh, no, yeah, no, that's the charge. Alright, see I, I do... Yeah, I, don't, I don't think the keepers can hear running, is that a... Nope, that's a card exchange. So yeah, I remember one somewhere over here. Or watching. Jesus. Okay, that was that guy. 
going to sneak. Alright. Okay. So yeah, then. Sneak. Yeah, over there. I don't doubt it exists. Alright, now we do. What am I not doing? Glad to see Bendy still lives up to the logic of, despite these, them seeing you in the hiding position, they forget that you existed. Hard to see. This room is darker than the others. All right, so I need way more parts to upgrade. Do I already flip the security lock? No, we didn't. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's open. Right. Why does this keep me from moving? Why do I have to crouch underneath it? Open. Nothing. Hello. Honestly, this is kind of just me when I go to bed. Just grab myself and everything. Like, when I wake up in the morning, the most difficult thing is unwrapping myself. There's always hope. Me. I like breaking things. Boom. Oh yeah, the keepers have three hands. I've seen, I have seen a lot of people use the keeper in that pose, and I keep on thinking that it's gonna try to batter, keep on like gonna hit you like a baseball bat, like bat, 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 bat. Wilson. Rest yourself, Audrey. You're still weak. The Keepers can be relentless to strangers. But there's nothing to fear as long as I'm with you. Uh -huh. You're safe now. Uh -huh. You did this to me. Yeah. You brought me here. Turned me into this, this thing. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you. Open your eyes and look around you. You were None of me five years ago. All makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost thirty years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. Glad to see Wilson is telling everybody, and guys, this game is not real. Don't take it seriously. In here, it exists. Yep. It's it flourishes. Reality, guided by its master's pin. The foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release. It's the inkjar. Out there. But first, the 
This world must be controlled. Made safe. A new child. These things, these angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stains? My son! Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away for newer, greater things. You just killed my son. What do you want from me? I need your help to save my father's life. Huh? What? This is our star. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. Chapter 5, The Dark Revival, we're to Chapter 5 now, Jesus. You're weird. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Can I, do, can I go through here? Okay, I can't flow, where'd my pipe go? Where'd my pipe go? Oh, there it is. At least we'll sing let us keep our weapon. Signal towers are nearby abilities have been disabled. Wait, what? Signal towers are nearby abilities have been disabled. Okay, grammar much? Trash can. My home. Can I, can I get in the trash can? Oh. Yes. Finally, I've made it home. My trash can. I am Audrey the Grout. That keeper over there is just like, What are you doing? Why are you in a trash can? To which I reply, I am home. Alright. Hey, root to the trash. Root to the trash. Jesus Christ, your hands. Okay. So I, I'm gonna break in. So okay, so signal towers are disabling my powers. My powers, my powers. This real men, oh real men use the damn good shoe. Oh, that's not the thing though the, the Wally Franks was talking about. Not the way. Huh. What's this? Old Track 77 is a quiet place these days. Ever since that terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang out around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me that he had strange reports of some, of the tr of some train going through that wasn't even on schedule. There were figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows, but it never stopped to let no one off. It just kept on going straight through. Some say it was the Silver Lane Express that the train crashed. Kitty Thompson, I read that completely wrong. Okay. That's seaweed. Why is there seaweed growing in the subway station? But also, signal towers are nearby powers disabled. So either the signal towers have my powers, or signal towers are disabling my powers. Since I think. I meet up with Bendy, revealed that, like, not only can it turn him back to baby Bendy, but, uh, it also, like, does something to me, which I'm guessing is repressed my powers. Now, this keeper is probably having a good time. Smick, 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 smick. I don't know, maybe that keeper is into it. Not keeper. Lost one. Yeah, I I'm sure the keeper is into choking out the life of others, but who knows, maybe that lost one's into it. Hey, Wilson, what's up? Don't be weird and visible. This evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Yeah, I'd say. Be quiet. What did you say? 
was nothing. No, just say be quiet. Be quiet, Wilson. No one cares about you. Almost there. But also... Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Uh, okay, real quick. You just locked me out. Okay, but also, uh... Did... Did Inkbendy just telepathically speak to me? And why did Audrey just respond with be quiet? These things, I really like them. They look super cool. Gun, gun. Give me the gun. I want the gun. Give me the gun. Why does it look like this gun has a smaller gun attached to it? I want the gun. Or the axe. One of the two. Doesn't really matter to me. As long as I can bonk more efficiently. I remember seeing this in my Bioshock video. It's not about bonking them to death, it's about how efficiently you bonk them. Gun is just bonking them, but far away. Can I go here? No. Wait. She's still strutting. Wait, like, she's surrounded by, like, monster things, and she's still, like, strutting like she's out of like, some sort of fashion show. Like, introducing ink. Inkware. Alright, stand here. Oh god, Wilson put me in the jar! <laughs> Face a lot my pipe. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. Disarm now. Uh, where? Oh. Can I keep the gun though after this? Audrey puts down the pipe, and once her tests are done, keep the gun. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank god. I thought Wilson was gonna keep me in the jar. Okay, but now I don't have a bonking. Oh, look, my shadow without the pipe. I'm still strutting. Don't strut to Wilson, Audrey. Civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. <laughs> Why is he walking up so fast? Okay. It's her. Hello. I remember you. Can I talk to you? I remember you. Why aren't you speaking? Oh, so, he is, so she is the maid. Oh yeah, you left something out in the city thing. Thought you wanted to check out on that. Okay, so wait, so Wilson came into this world, remade everything, and gave himself a maid that looks like this. Yeah, Wilson's a true neckbeard. Also, huh. Uh-huh. 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 Can I go now? Okay, well, at least he's putting me in the jar. And now, my dear, if no. you excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. Betty? She's my housekeeper. She is my maid. Other things. You <laughs> Among other things. never actually killed the ink demon, did you? Oh, yeah, we killed no, those things. He's too powerful to destroy. Yeah. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form, one that was smaller, harmless. Bend the baby. It. it was a fitting prison. My Although baby. Although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. I'm more disturbed by the fact that Wilson. Think it's all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson. One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Yes. Like, Come along, <laughs> and no more dawdling. This way now. Why is she walk stifled? You're here at last. It's so exciting, finally having you with us. 
Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs, and then there's the north wing. We don't go there. We do not go to the north wing. Uh, I don't know my compass directions. Wait, north. Okay, so east. I'm gonna go east. Ink demon got in there a while ago, and ever since we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Okay. Alright, so both Betty and Wilson have some things. Betty seems to be slightly innocent, although she did call books juicy. Oh, so, uh, what kind of books are you reading that can be described as juicy, Betty? And how can you read? Do you have eyes behind there? Okay, so I'm gonna assume I have to walk which way Betty looks. Especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Hey, it's the trailer line. Boy, what about Wilson? Okay, actually, you know what? Yeah, she's pro yeah, you know what? She's probably smart to not talk to Wilson, considering the fact that Will that to, to her Wilson, considering the fact that Wilson sees Betty as both housemaid and other things. I do not want to know. Here we are. Oh, thank you. You should see where I sleep. Ugh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I feel bad for her. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. I'm not gonna ask what the stains are because they're either ink or something else. But also, I feel bad for her now. She's had. I mean, like she's working with Wilson, which I mean, one. Like being in a, being like in a three mile radius of Wilson is already bad enough, but considering that Wilson uses her for other things amongst housekeeping, yeah, I do not want to ask what those other things are. And the fact that she also apparently sleeps somewhere very bad, like I, I feel bad for you, truly. Not only that, but why do you, why is your mask like something out of Showdown Bandit? Okay. Hey, what's this? For sleeping. Draft? Is that what this says? Pitch of salt, cocoa powder, soybeans, Gilson. Is everything last? Three sips of water, cocoa beans, soybeans. We have a lot of beans. Music, stuff, okay. Uh huh. Nice. Very, uh huh. Okay, some music. And a book. The Mug and the Maiden. That's a page. Another page of love by Sir Wilton Moore. Jesus Christ! Okay, next page. Oh my! Oh my god! Okay, I... Okay, thankfully memos are stored in the pause menu, so I am not gonna read all that. Uh, exit. Okay. Wait. I don't know. Can I actually read that in the pause menu? Okay, so I have to stay here. Right, so can I not open the rooms? Uh, do I just sleep? Jump on the bed? Betty, what do I do? Okay, there we go. Talk. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very British? Old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But, Wilson will keep trying. And... Do you trust Wilson? 
This is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. The book? It's my own recipe. Works oh, pretty that. fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Oh, she doesn't get to sleep. Wait, how can I call Betty, actually? Is there, like, a bell thing? Okay. I feel bad for her. Also, part of life's broken. Okay, so... Uh... Gilson. What's a Gilson? <laughs> Same thing, you know, just like... I also love how she just asks that question just straight, just normally, just like... Alright, let's see here, huh? The Hex and Gilson. I was like... What is that? She's just like, what? Hey. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, so many things. Wilson actually gave me a long novel. Oh. Sit. Oh. Can I call Betty and ask her what Gilson is? She's standing behind the door. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, I need to find Gilson. Can I search under the pillow? search in here oh bathroom ooh I actually have a reflection nice okay can I can I actually call for Betty on the okay I don't want okay I can't call for Betty I don't want to disturb her I feel bad for her okay none of this okay no that's toilet paper okay that's nothing <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, not in there. Can I open the shower? Is it in here? Why can I close the door? Oh, it's Double door. Two way door. Can I turn on the sink? <laughs> okay. It's very fun now seeing how you now have a reflection. Is that a vent? I mean, I'm gonna. Oh, wait, I can actually just leave. Okay, no, that's not Betty. Okay, so I actually have to walk. Okay, I do walk. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death become a thing of the past. Poverty and hunger, a distant memory. I can remake the world anew. But 
Nothing here. So, I'm looking for a fish. There's got to be one here somewhere. Now that's a fish. Ugh, he's too fast. My microphone was off the entire time. I am upset with myself. Audrey, why? Wait, yellow perch. The Gilson fish. The Gilson is not is not known to be easy to catch and will cost enormous bait. Okay, crush. Okay, crush the Gilson to powder. So wait, I have to powderize a fish and play loud music. Uh, does does Inkworld know how fish work? Maybe if it was closer, can I push the piano? Can I push the fish tank? Is there another room? No. Okay, how do I fish? Also, uh, Wilson has a keen eye for art. But I actually said, maybe if it was closer. How do I get it closer? I swear to God. Can I push it? Oh, yes. Move. Alright, there we go. Alright, now. That did it. it. Looks like the fish is asleep. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, that was aggressive. Get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> Oh. Uh, hello. I uh, oh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen too. Uh, I'll be. Uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? Didn't even need a fish. Oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. Oh, thank God. I also hate the dry air. <laughs> All right, Betty's my favorite character alongside the keepers. Also, I like how Audrey just made fun of the fish. Just like, hey, I got you now, you little stink. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Betty, nothing. Uh, <laughs> Audrey got caught in 4K with the fish. So, Betty left me the stuff. Oh! Take. It's really cool to have a reflection, finally. Now, just three sips of water. Three. 
<laughs> just stand here with the water, just like... <laughs> this is just funny looking. Sip. One... You didn't speak, liar. Why am I individually sipping? And why is it three sips? And why is it numbered sip? Why can't I just drink my entire cup? But yeah, favorite character tier list. Uh, t the Keepers mid tier. Harold and Betty S tier. Two. And Audrey holding cup blankly in the mirror. The best character of all time. Audrey and Audrey with cup are different people. Three. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, it was a woman. Do you just like, nope, I'm not dealing with this. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heavy switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. She is back. Okay, talk to you. won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay. I'm just supposed to watch myself. I'm sure you won't mind. I wonder if the microphone can actually detect me hitting the buttons. It's that music. The pop is fox? He, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. Uh-huh. Okay. What's in here? Nothing for an upgrade. Can I not flow? Okay, wait, there's no, there's ladders. Wait, I want to talk to Alice again. I want to see if she has anything to say. Hello, I've missed you. You tried to kill me last time. Oh, you know, we're different people. Never mind. Yeah, that was dangerous as ever. Dear God. Okay. Wait a minute. So we still said. Okay, so we rabbit next to Fox sitting on the left. Cool. I'm not gonna pull this yet because Alice is. Alice. 
Oh. oh, wait a minute. I heard about this. I heard there was like a FNAF reference in Bendy. Is this it? Wait. Fox? Bird? Bear? Is that the right bird? Oh. I think that was it. Because like, I remember that somebody talked, somebody said there was a FNAF reference. Hey, can you flip this now? Alice. Alice. Flip this. Alice, flip the liver or I'll flip you off. If, wait, I wish I could move my fingers. Also, that was the most mature joke I've made. How do I tell Alice I'm done? Oh wait, no, oh wait, right, it's time to sit back in my chair. Uh... Uh... Okay, well that's what she meant by fry, okay? I... I doubt that her thing's gonna open the door now. I severely doubt Alice is going to actually Hold spare me. Hold tight, honey. Here it comes. Three... Two... Oh, no. One... Yep. I knew it. <laughs> Again. Again. Oh. Okay, so was that not the FNAF reference? The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay, so birds attack the fox. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Okay, so they don't sit together, but they sit somewhat close to each other. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna turn this into a rabbit. Okay. Uh, what next? My hand's still glowing, I can still flow. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. Okay, so the bear sits next to the bird. It's okay, so... Bear next wait. Okay. Wait. Uh, okay, this is getting complicated. Okay, so the bunny and the fox, like they're close, but not that close. Whereas the rat whereas the bear is sitting right next to the fox. The pup is fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead for now. Left. Far too pedestrian. All right, so the fox doesn't sit on the, the left. Never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. Okay. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Uh huh. This is getting complicated. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. Okay. So wait, is this not FNAF reference? Okay, so bear... Oh, Jesus Christ. And my timer went off. Okay, so, wait, so bear and fox... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna solve this puzzle. Okay, so bear... and rabbit... Bear, rabbit... Bird and fox? Let's try this one. I was like, I swear, this is the FNAF reference. This is the only time I've seen animals that aren't fish. Also, I just realized this is the, the, the Bendy and the Bendy games have had fish twice now. It 
If I had a nickel for every time Bendy and the Ink Machine or Dark Revival games have had fish in them, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Alright, Alice. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. I don't know what's worse, Wilson calling me dear or Alice calling me honey. What? Oh. Okay. Who shot a no here? The people or Alice? Or was it us? I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Can I have your donut, by the way? I, I kind of want your donut. Ooh, glowy thing. Come on. No. No one likes you. Pull the jar jump up. I'm gonna get the pipe back. This mine? Oh, that is mine. Okay, I'll take it. Steely, steely. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus Christ! No! Get bonked. Get bonked in the face. 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 Wait, charge thing. I saw a charger. Pod. Okay, thank God I'm alive. Thank God I survived getting beaten to death. Oh, right, I don't have the powers. Oh, come on. No. Okay, right, now I'm gonna eat a donut. Never mind, they killed me. Alright. Oh, there's the upgrade station. Eh, just kill. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's already charged up. No. That up. I'm gonna eat you now. Tasty. Also, can I upgrade? Or did they take away my everything? Alright, they didn't take away everything, but I can't upgrade. Alright, well, I guess that ends it here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I certainly did. It was fun seeing Alice again. I feel very bad for Betty. I like the fish. But, yeah, we're going to have to end this here. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching this live, uh, follow. But if you're not and you're watching this on YouTube, I still appreciate the support. Uh, subscribe and or visit Twitch if you want to. And, yeah, that was pretty much the end of it. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.